Hey guys, it's Mary Rose from PsychicSoulmateReading.com. This video is a three card tarot reading for our week ahead. And it doesn't matter even if you are watching this after the date that I've uploaded it. The reading and the message is still intended for you. That's the way spirit guides work. And I've been filming these videos for many years and I always get the same feedback. And right now I'm at my local coffee shop. I just, Dave and I are just crazy about this place. So I said, you know, I was doing some work on our tarot, on our tarot course. And I said, you know what? Let me just do our weekly reading video because that's in a couple of days. I'm filming this um, the weekend actually. And I post this on Sun on Monday and so I didn't have a chance to I won't have a chance I have my like my weekend is completely packed and this is the only chance that I have to film it for you it's very important for me to be in the right space of headspace and state of mind when I do this I can't just just put it out anytime I have to be in that state and right now I was feeling it and I'm glad because I brought my crow tarot <laughs> I don't go anywhere without my tarot cards and I got my uh, decaf Americano so I am just feeling the buzz even decaffeinated coffee does it for me you know so anyways um, I have dealt the cards and I've already done and shuffled and everything for what we need to know and it's pretty interesting because we got the first card was the three of swords and the three of swords represents feeling like you're separated from something that you want feeling a bit like something you're apart like lacking something something is not enough like you don't have enough or just feeling lack of and this is something that's really deep inside that you're but you've been maybe feeling and experiencing and um, it's actually just stuff that's coming up it's not really um, the reality it's just what the mind is telling you and we get that oh gosh it's a part of being human right and it's like right now maybe someone's putting that maybe someone's making you feel that way but actually they wouldn't make you feel that way if it wasn't already there and sometimes people have the um, they trigger us like they're they are just the um, the camel that's the last straw or however it's <laughs> however it's put you know but anyways what I meant by is like it's just an energy that is triggering you okay so something is triggering you to feel a sense of lack and I you know what I totally totally relates to me with some things that I've been going through um, working with shadow and working with and things have coming up from last month and with the mercury retrograde going on come on it's like it's really intensifying the energy and my clients and you guys have been telling me the same thing like what is going on it's just energy and it's a time right now in life right now in the world um, in the galaxies right now well actually in our world it's like this energy that's bringing everything to the surface it's kind of like when you sweep you know when you sweep something and then all the leaves and all the dirt everything rises it's just so we can look at it because it's an opportunity and it's a chance for us to release it okay so that's a very important thing to look at whatever comes up is an important um, aha moments for you even if they seem a little negative you got it you got this you got this and I got to tell you that just take it okay take it the second card is the chariot <laughs> chariot is um, a really really good card for what we've been feeling because this actually kind of like it kind of goes with it when I saw it when it came up I said yeah <laughs> chariot is really pushing through that but it's giving you the stamina and you got that you got an energy and an influence like this this force that's actually helping you okay and there's like lots of help you got lots of guiders and like we have lots of spirit guides around us we have um, angels around us and we don't know that and you know we are spirit becoming human not human becoming spirit I know some people look at me and they roll their eyes but you know what where did we come from who are we where are we like who is what like we always say it's like who is watching the screen you know you are more than just flesh and blood you are more <laughs> <laughs> the flesh and blood is our ego and the costume that we put on and we need that to survive so you work with both okay hear me out so it's like they're going together so chariot is giving you that stamina and that rush to really push through and it's giving you that fire right it's giving you that you know you got you got this and no matter what you know I, when I look at this it just reminds me of driving in Toronto traffic <laughs> <laughs> it's like I got this I got this you know because it's just you know going downtown is just a fun bumpy ride <laughs> and the third card is the ace of swords and this is also ideas um, holding all the power um, it's like you have all the control the control is within you something is telling you that see we go through the dark out of the dark comes the light and you don't see the light unless you go through the dark so 
the Ace of Swords um, is telling you that there is a new beginning. Swords are all about the mental and they're all about ideas and um, creativity as well. Like it's, it's, well, it's more of a mental, it's more intellectual, but it still can find the solution, if that makes sense. So the Ace of Swords says that you can find the solution because you, the power is in your hands. And the fact that I work, I'm working with the Crow Tarot is saying that, oh, I saw a crow on the way coming here. I was like, Dave, look, there's a crow. And um, yeah, the crows represent birth and rebirth. So it represents something is about to end in your life and something is about to begin. So yes, we've been feeling this inadequateness about ourselves. And then, and then at the same time, we got this energy rush because there's something that's telling us, and especially today, well, I'm filming, I'm actually filming this before, but I'm posting it on 1111, which is, 11 number is, well, when you see those numbers, 11 actually represents um, new beginnings. It's, it's actually, you know, there's no, like there's hidden meanings towards all the numbers, but when you see 1111, it's actually telling you you're on the right path. You're on the right. You're on the right track, and it's telling you that some things you are being synchronized. I see double numbers all the time, and that's how I know I'm connected to Source. I'm connected to the higher power. I'm connected to my soul and to my spirit. And when I'm connected to that, that means all is well. That this is just make believe because life is a dream, right? Life is a dream, just as reality is a dream, and just like a dream is actually reality. So they both kind of go hand in hand. And I'm, you know what? Only our minds can know about 10 percent like 10 percent our minds can get but there's more to it you got to download it this is what i say instead of trying to figure it out guys just download it and that is what the ace of swords is saying to download it because that's really important i thought i saw the king of the queen of cups here oh actually yeah the queen of cups did show up <laughs> I just, I just, I cut the deck and the Queen of Cups came up. So this is uh, actually four cards and the Queen of Cups is spirituality. I think that's where I got, oh, this is something spiritual because I thought I saw it in my mind's eye, but I didn't actually. I'm seeing it now. And that's how spirit works. Okay, everything's synchronized. Um, the Queen of Cups is actually staying in the light and she's actually a very nurturing, uh, well, it's moon, moon in water. So it's a water sign. So it's like very dreamy. Um, just like the Cancer Scorpio Pisces, and I'm a Cancer. I'm a Scorpio, and I got lots of can I got lots of water in my chart. So water is actually just going with the flow and just letting, downloading those, nurturing yourself. It's important. Self care, self love is very important because if you don't do those things, then what you're going to do is you're going to end up um, staying in the dark and just well, no judgment here, guys, because I know it's hard to get out of hard. hard sometimes it's hard to raise your vibration, right? And we got to do what we got to do to to do that. That's why it's good to connect with like-minded people. Connect with me, you know. The DM me, message me, you know. Um, you know, it's not that it's not what I say to you. It's the energy that I exchange. You see what I'm saying? Like I always say, everybody matters, and I always like to. I need to talk to people. <laughs> That's my thing because I was getting depressed. If I don't go on. Uh, social media or if I don't talk to somebody I go stir crazy when I say that I mean like I can stay alone by myself for a really long time and I am I mean I'm with Dave but I'm just saying like you know like we need to interact we need to stay with each other because we're all in this together right so my message to you guys is to just know that whatever's going on right now this too shall pass okay this really will and I promise you and I'm sending you guys lots of love I'm sending you guys lots of light through this and I know that you're gonna feel it because it is true is that's how it's we're all synchronized and even though it's cyber long distance and you may be watching this like days later even months later the messages the feelings are still there so you're downloading it it's just an energy exchange because I get from you like we we're, we're, we're mirrors to each other of, of light and also like I said take you take what resonates and what doesn't you know it's just to perk you up. That's why I do these videos, just to give you a light and give you a perk and give, because it feeds me too as well. And that's why we're here together, right? Okay. So, um, yeah, so I guess that's that's our message for today. Um, and um, if you have any, um, well, if you'd like to get a longer reading with me, because I do personalized readings um, over the phone, Skype, WhatsApp, these other ones too, I can't remember, FaceTime, yeah. Or just a phone reading. Um, go to my website and book your session psychicsoulmatereading.com and you can book your time and your time zone will correspond with my time zone even if you're all the way in uh, China or Australia we will synchronize it'll just show you what, what's available oh that's Dave <laughs> That was a that was a surprise. I love that. I love when Dave's in my videos. We're doing lots of work on our tarot course coming soon, 
And uh, yeah, so I wish you guys all peace, blessings, love and light to you all. Thank you for watching.